What is going on guys and welcome back to another player review. We are going to be looking at a player that doesn't have 90 pace, finally. Took a long time. But anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5 cent off. If you're looking for PSN cards or Microsoft points, check out G2A. The link will also be in the description and use the code ETANI for a discount. Now, Inform David Silva has had the position change from the non-Inform. He is now a center attacking mid. He's going for quite a bit compared to his non-Inform, but that is expected because of the position change, and you could definitely know that he is better in that position. So, center attacking mid, this guy, you look at him, he has the passing, he has the dribbling. He's not the fastest of center attacking mids, but as you guys know, anyone over 70 pace is good for that position. Now, he was a huge surprise for me because I've never tried... David Silva in a center attacking mid roll, so he was so good, man. I have to tell you that for a center attacking mid, he was setting up my strikers, scoring goals, getting past defenders with his amazing dribbling. Sometimes you don't even need to assist your strikers, you could just dribble past the whole team with him. That's how awesome he is. You'll see that numerous times in this video where I just get past the whole team by just using David Silva and his four star skills and just taking my time if you're patient with your center attack in middle any player that has good dribbling you could easy uh, easily try and be unpredictable against your opponent's defenders and you'll see them slide tackling you'll see them stand tackling in different ways is stupid but they have to predict before you get past them and they most of the time if you're unpredictable they are going to predict wrong so finishing in the penalty area was pretty awesome with his left foot he also sometimes scored me with his weaker foot but that's when he had an open goal and quite a bit of the time it was unreliable so when you're trying to finesse it with his right foot it was very very unreliable and i missed open goals sometimes with his weaker foot but that is to be expected Two-star weak foot is really bad, so keep that in mind. He's also weak, so even though he has awesome agility and balance, it did help him get past defenders if you're going to try and dribble away from them, but if they stick on to you, they are easily going to get you off the board, so you're going to have to be really unpredictable to actually like inform David Silva. I have seen some people complain about his shooting, but like I said, I scored a nice long shot with him and scored a couple of nice goals outside the penalty area, so I don't think his shooting was that bad, to be honest. He has decent shooting. You will be able to score from long range with his shooting, but... Other than that, there isn't much to say. He's weak and two-star weak foot, but you're having an amazing sense attack in mid with everything you need. Everything is balanced on his card, so I definitely recommend him. I think he was one of the best sense attack in mids I have tried. I actually enjoyed using Inform David Silva rather than Inform De Maria. Believe it or not, the pace, it doesn't really matter with a sense attack in mid, but he seemed to have everything that I actually needed. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know who would you like me to review next from this team of the week. And Inform David Silva gets a 9.4 out of 10.